just as thatcherier than Ireland lovers are. You're the curse of the Irish nation, Fina Gael and Fina Fila. You've destroyed me higher perches and you've put me on the dole. If I could get me hands on you, I'd kick you up the hole. Oh, we love you, Mrs. Thatcher, no one in. Hey, my name's Jules Davies. I'm reporting for Vivid Culture today. Uh, get, uh, we're basically here in London checking out Maggie Thatcher's funeral, getting lots of different opinions from different people. Uh, who's for Maggie Thatcher, who isn't, and who's literally just jumped on the bandwagon. So yeah, we'll talk to some people and see what happens. And so why are you guys here today? Uh, I've come to sort of pay my respects to the people who have suffered. Okay, and you? Yeah, similar. Um, I'm here to um, make, in a humble way, uh, make my 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 outrage uh, and this 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 public display of the of the establishment, which which is what it is, uh, and I, I find it deeply insulting to 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 the majority of the people in this country. Yeah, I'm here because I disagree with um, ceremonial funeral being given to Margaret Thatcher because. Principally because the costs have not been discussed in Parliament. Nobody knows what the costs are. France, Francis Maud is lying about the costs of, of, the, uh, of the funeral. It's disingenuous of the government to deal with the matter in this way, and that's principally what I object to. I'm here because I think the woman deserves to be honoured in as much as she did more for this country than many, many people realise. Her ideas were based on human greed, and that's it. I don't agree with that. Uh, to just be part of a, a quiet, dignified, personal protest about what's going on, really. About, uh, you know, I, I disagree with the amount of money that's been spent on it. Um, I wasn't. I don't want to be disrespectful to anybody, anybody's family or in a, a funeral situation. But I, I wanted to be here to, to, to turn my back and show that you know I'm part of a, a, part, a big part of the country that doesn't agree with what she did and what is you know we're still suffering from. I didn't really believe that Margaret Thatcher uh, warranted a state funeral, a state style funeral. So I wanted to, uh, rather than people think that I was here supporting her, I thought I'd bring a placard, uh, which is a mild statement, uh, so uh, not to offend too many people, but just to get the message across. Dead, dead, dead. I'm a phobic witch. Dead, dead, dead. I'm a phobic witch. Dead, dead. The level of intelligence the grit, the determination that she had. She was one in a million, and that's why we're all here today. Whether we like her or we don't like her, we're all here for the same reason, because she she was different. Not all people are made the same. She has passion, she's got determination, she's got grit. Now, the many things she did, I didn't agree with, okay? But there are many things that she did that I did agree with. Well, there's a lot of tension here at the moment, so there's gonna be a lot of trial controversy for anything anyone does here today so our job is just to see what happens you old enough to remember England was a shit house before, uh, because we were run by the unions yeah but when it comes to the unions controlling the government and controlling the country it's a totally different issue they had to spend so much money extracting the, the, the dangerous chemicals from it that it was cheaper to buy it from Australia and ship it on barges oh you want to shut up now do you oh no 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 listen listen before you start gobbing off get your facts right the Thatcher supporters did nothing but jeer me boo me every time the press spoke to me tried to shout the press down, tried to shout me down. That is the, 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 the feelings of Thatcher's supporters concerning free speech. I worked through the three day week. I saw how devastated this country was and it had no future. It was bound by strikes. It couldn't export, it couldn't import because the stocks were on strike. It couldn't manufacture because someone was on strike. It couldn't, the pits were on strike all those things and I came back in 76 determined to do something for my country and if that means standing here making sure people understand the legacy that she left us so be it. I think the thing for me the, the legacy that she left for me was the one of, yeah. of greed and selfishness so on a human level if we put the politics all, aside it went perfect. Uh, she created a, a society of greed and selfishness which is now we've got what we have today it's been said a lot lately that, that this is not a state funeral 
um, which clearly it is, if not in name. But uh, I think the reason it's not a, it isn't a state funeral is because it was too risky for her to ask for a state funeral because she wouldn't have got one. And that would have been really humiliating. So that's why, that's, that's, that's the truth of, truth of the matter. Those that were old enough to vote should have put their ex in the right place. You, you gave it, it's like, you've opened the front door, you've let the devil in, then you're moaning about the fact, well, he's leaving burning footprints on the carpet. Well, it's too late then, yeah? And I'm sorry, she didn't give a shit about the British people. The, the implementation of neoliberalist political economy, um, which is something that has just entrenched global inequality and uh, basically just made a few people rich and the rest of us very poor. Man cannot govern himself. <laughs> Too much greed. Too much greed in this world. The rich get rich and the poor get screwed. Hopefully this has given you a bit of an insight into the era of the late Prime Minister. You've been watching Jules Davies in a Vivid Culture production. Peace.